Morning, we start with breaking news unfolding in central Queensland and a mass shooting that has claimed the lives of three family members in an apparent neighbourhood dispute. We're going to take you live to Alex Heinke, who was in Bowen in the Whit Sundays for us. Alex, uh, police have just spoken. Tell us what's happening. Yeah, absolutely. A lot has happened in the last only few minutes, Savannah. But what we know is a 59-year-old man, he is the neighbour uh, of this property where this shooting took place. He is the only one left in police custody. He is in the building right next to me and he is set to be charged uh, later on this afternoon after what has been a neighbourhood dispute gone horribly wrong. Also in this press conference, we found out a little bit more about what exactly happened. This was a planned meeting between neighbours, two families. They met yesterday morning on the borderline uh, a fence uh, between their two properties. Uh, a gun was pulled and then we know three people were shot. Three of them killed. The only one that got out alive, Ross Tinge, he uh, managed to get into a ute. He drove several kilometres down the road away from this gunman, away from the crime scene, uh, to not only reception but to safety as well, alerting authorities, and that is when they have moved in. Uh, we know that he, the only survivor, he remains in a stable uh, but very serious condition. That is down in the Mackay Base Hospital right now. The police giving us an update, as I mentioned, only in the last few minutes, a bit more about the one that they believe did it all. Have a listen. We understand that the there was a conversation that had occurred the night before which was the reason why uh, the, the parties had met at the gate uh, on the property. There was an invitation for them to go there and, and discuss. Yes, yeah, so a lot of moving parts as you can imagine, Davina, but the big news that's only just broken, a 59-year-old man, he is the only one that remains in custody. He is set to be charged later this afternoon after this mass shooting. We'll bring you more information, of course, as it comes to hand throughout the day. Alex Hunky with that breaking news. Thank you.